Dear students, in this video, I'll be discussing on the map entered variable. So, in the previous classes, we have discussed what is queen map class key. So, what are the drawbacks of an entered sorry K map, and also how to overcome that drawback? Queen McCluskey was the very efficient method in order to overcome that drawback. Now, in this class, we'll be discussing about the entered variable map. So, before we start with this entered variable map, just we need to know what is the drawback of the Queen McCluskey method. So, in order to overcome that drawback, we're going to use this entered variable map. So, we all know when number of variables increases, so K map is not efficient. So, we will go with the Quinn Metlas key. When variables are increasing drastically, but the relative uh, elements provided there was very less. So, here is the thing. Like Queen Metlas key method can be used with functions with fairly large number of variables. It is not very efficient for functions that have many variables and relatively few terms. So for example, So, if this is the function g of a, b, c, d, e, f, we know we can very efficiently solve even if it is d, f, e, f and all. But the number of elements for these e and f are very less. So, that is what we are trying to tell you all. When there are relatively few terms, so this queen metlas key will not be very efficient. Then we go for this entered variable map. What is this entered variable map? We are going to make use of the K-map technique and we are going to enter. So far, we, if you look, at, look back into the problems which we have solved so far, so we have entered the values into the map like 0, 1 and also we have entered don't cares. But now in this method, we are going to enter even the variables inside the map. That's what called entered variable map. The another name for this entered variable map is map entered variable. So, if this example m0, m2, m3, these are the main terms given e, m5, e, m7. These are the main terms where e is the uh, 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 variable we need to write it. This is the main term where f is the variable and these are again the main terms and few don't care. So, with this, how we can go with this problem? So, the entry is like, sorry. So, this I am using it because, so the contents what we are going to use now will be in this format. So, that is why I just look into this K map. So, here are A, B, C, D. The cell values are like this. 0, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 7, 6, 12, 13, 15, 14, 8, 9, 11, 10. So, we are just depending like this of the K map in order to solve this problem. So, this is the entries into the map. These locations, the don't care has been given. So, in these locations, we need to find the, put the entries. M0, it is 1. M2, here it is, it is 1. M3, it is 1, it is 1. E, M5. We need to write E in the location 5. So, that is your E M7, E in the location of 7, then F in the location of 9, so here it is 9, then 11 in the lock, sorry, 1 in the location of 11, so 1, 15 in the location, sorry, 1 in the location of 15, so here it is 1. So in these locations, the don't care has been given. Then how we go with this problem? So we have done the entries. Now we need to simplify this problem. So, in order to simplify this problem, you need to remember few things. First, you consider this, the additional variables other than the main terms as 0. So, we consider E and F both are 0. When these two are 0, the map enter, entries inside the map are like this. Then do the grouping. So, these four in one group, these two in one group. So, what is the variable which retains constant over there? Write it down. So, for this, A bar, B bar. For this, it is A, B and, sorry, A, C, D, A, C, D. So, this is the term which we get it when we are grouping ones, that is main terms, along with the don't cares. 
Now, in the next step, we need to consider only one variable out of this because we have two variables E and F. So, we'll consider E is 1, F is 0. Then these are the entries. Now, when we are considering this, all the main terms what we have written and all the don't cares, everything should be written as a don't care now. So, mark all these terms as a don't care and write 1 only in location of E and do the grouping. So, when we did the grouping, only these four in one group. The resultant here is, so A bar, because we know here, A bar and D. A bar D is the answer. Then, when we make this E0 and F1, so only in this location 1, rest all it is, don't care, and in the location of E it is 0. So, make these four in one group. So, the resultant over here is A, D. AD is the answer. So now we get these four terms. So when we group the main terms, A bar, B bar plus A, C, D. When we did the grouping with E, we get this A bar, D. When we did the grouping with F, we get this A, D. Now we need to combine all these four terms together. That is the final solution for this problem. So this problem could be very simple when you compare this with the Quinn McCleskey method because if it was these many entries so we need to write so many comparisons pairing grouping then we need to go with the prime implicant chart see what are the essential prime implicants and then we need to find out what are all the other prime implicants in order to cover all the given main terms so with this in this way we can able to reduce the drawback of the queen mccleskey when there are many variables and relatively few terms. If the terms are very more, then we need to go with the Quinn McCleskey method itself. So we move on to the next problem. Use a three variable map to simplify the function f of a, b, c, d. So these are the terms given a bar b bar c plus a bar c b c plus a bar b c bar d plus a b c d plus a b bar c. So, this a, b bar c is been written in the uh, bracket. It means it's a don't care. Now, we need to solve this problem using a three variable map. Suppose if it was a four variable map, how we could address? So, we look into these things where d is missing. We try to make this problem into a uh, standard format and then we are going to do the grouping on this. So, now uh, just convert the same problem into the previous version. Write down these are the main terms given here. 0, 0, 1 that is 1. 0, 1, 1 that is 3. 0, 1, 0 it is 2. But here it is D in location of this main term. Uh, 1, 1, 1 that is 7 in location of this D. And this is the dot A, B bar C. So 1, 0, 1 that is 5. So once we write this. Now start solving the problem. So just write the entries into these locations as 1 and 3 also it's 1. For the location 2 it is D. For the location 7 it is D and here it is don't care. Do this pair. So the result we get here is uh, A bar C. And then when we convert these into don't cares and make only D as 1, so these locations it is 1. So these 4 in 1 group and these 2 in 1 group. So with these 4 in 1 group, the result here is C. This pairing A bar B. So this is the result. So combine both of this together and write the final result as A bar C plus C plus a bar b that is your final result so then in order to verify this result with the actual k map for the four variable convert this problem into a standard form then write the entries into the four variable map and simplify it so now the solution for this has been written here and now we need to convert this into the canonical form so just so the canonical form here is you can add on the variable which is missing over there 
for all the terms wherever it is missing so now we get this is the resultant so for with this single term we got two terms for this we got two terms this all the terms are there so we get this we write the same thing here all the terms are there we write it for this the don't care term we'll be having two so now you convert this wherever it is bar write down zero wherever it is variable write down one so write all the binary representation of the number so it will be easy to write the main term values write all the main terms here it's 3 2 7 6 5 15 11 and 10 write the entries into the map in those locations so now so it is 3 it is 1 2 it is 1 then 7 it is 1 6 it is 1 5 it is 1 15 it is 1 and 10 and 11 are the don't cares you do this cross mark so now in order to do this grouping this is the only option of pair do this pair what is the result out of this is a bar c d so i miss out the d over here when you are making it for d add on d for this so here it is d and here it is d because this d term only we converted into one year and in order to do the grouping so now this result is a bar b d that is here and now we need to do this grouping these four i can put it in one group so what is the result out of this is a bar c a bar c which is already here and for this one we need to do the grouping so i can make these four in one group sorry this four in one group the result here is all these are changing cd cd so this is the result for this uh, three variable when we convert this into an entered variable by entering d into the map we get this expression we need to add on both this expression together as a final solution for this problem or we convert this into a canonical form and write the entries into the schema and we take this grouping so with this i'll wind up the problems on the entered variable map you can solve more problems whatever has been discussed earlier uh, but the four variable problem you can just convert it into three variable and you can able to do that thank you